coming into game one, if you would have said, hmm, Jason Tatum going to be three for 17 from the field, have 12 points. I mean, Steph had 21 in the first quarter, right? Right. Like, oh, the Celtics are going to win. Be like, well, what did Tatum do? Just a new career high, 13 assists, the most in a finals debut, more than Michael Jordan, Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton. All those guys had 12 in their finals debut. How impressive is that for a guy like Jason Tatum, who's known as a scorer? It's very important because you just said Jason Tatum is known as a scorer. As you see him right there, that is an excellent pass. And look how he's right in the, in the shooting pocket as well. And this was something that Jason Tatum wasn't doing early in his career. It's something that he wasn't even doing earlier in this season. Marcus Smart called that players only meeting because, hey, he knew guys like Jason Tatum, guys like Jalen Brown, they had to become more than just scorers if this team was going to win. They had to be passers as well. If we trust you with the ball on a high percentage of our possessions, that means we trust you to make the right decision. The right decision is not always a shot. And Jason Tatum did a good job of realizing that in game one of the finals. He wasn't on. They were showing him a lot of coverage. And what he did was he empowered his teammates and he made the right play. He didn't go out there and try to make the selfish play because some people think, oh, you have to win it the way Michael Jordan would have won it with a fadeaway jumper or whatever. But even Mike knew sometimes he had to pass the ball to Steve Kerr and Paxson. And I see that Jason Tatum made that type of uh, decision as well. I love how he trusted his teammates.